Ebro in the morning. If you don't know who he is, Ebro hosts the Ebro in the morning show on the Hot 97. And on Hot 97, Lil Uzi Vert came and did an interview with them. Uh, and that's that's surprising because Lil Uzi Vert doesn't really do interviews like that. And he showed up there and Ebro had this prediction and said, you're just going to be like one of these microwave artists that, you know, gets hot for this moment and then disappears. Because he's like, he was basically against the new generation. He was saying, you guys are just, you know, you don't really take the hip hop craft serious and you guys just troll, so on and so forth. And from that conversation, he basically told Lil Uzi Vert that, hey, we'll talk about this later down the line and see where you're at. But he's like, I don't think you're going to really become anything. You're not going to be a rock star or superstar, you know, eight years down the line. Well, Ebro followed up from that interview and talked about, you know, whether he has, whether he feels he was wrong in saying that to Lil Uzi Vert and if he's a rock star. So first, let's check out the Hot 97 clip. And then let's check out this new update of whether he's a rock star or not, what Ebro thinks. But as I've seen with all you little young motherfuckers yeah. that think you nice. Yeah. He is pretty nice. You nice. Yeah, I'm good. Y'all get to y'all get to like 27, 28. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And y'all niggas get to struggling and y'all come y'all be trying to come back I'll tell to you find what, that sound. I ain't gonna struggle, bro. All right, we're gonna see. Oh, we gonna even, see. Oh, you gonna, gonna learn. And, and guess what? I'm gonna be here. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be totally different too. Like I'm I'm gonna be a sh all the way a rock star by then. No, let me let me ask you, um, because you keep throwing around this rock star thing. What does mm -hmm. that mean? What does that mean to you? It means what a lot to me. It's what a lifestyle. That, like, like, give me, give me, give me more words than that. Hmm. What, do you what, does mean? That mean? what do you mean by it? That is a good question. Hmm. Like, what does that look like? Is that just? It look like me. It look like Marilyn Manson. It looks like Gigi Allen. It looks like you know, Lil Uzi. Like Bird. real rock stars. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious. Yeah. 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 Success is a question for you, bro. Um, what are your thoughts on Uzi success? I love Uzi Vert. Um, I feel like, you know, he, um, yep. he still hasn't become the rock star and said he would become it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting. You know, because the rock star, unless it maybe I took it literal, but rock stars, the rock stars I know, they were selling out MetLife Stadium. They can sell out Madison Square Garden eight, ten times. They got hits on the radio everywhere, songs is everywhere. <laughs> So he told me he was gonna become a rock star. And I know that interview, how long ago was that interview? I was like, what? Six years ago. Was that six? Six, yeah. Six, so most people that come up to me and talk to me about Uzi Vert now was probably like 10 years old at that time. I was just getting into the internet. And it was tight, it was mad that I did that to Uzi Vert. <laughs> and like I said before, time will tell. Yeah. Where you at, my guy? <laughs> oh, so where you at, bro? Oh, why he took him? Where you at, bro? Did he just retire too? Wasn't he just like, yo, I'm tired? I'm done. Nah. Come on, son. You're supposed to be a rock star. Yeah. Okay, uh, Ebro has somewhat of a point. Somewhat, right? He's not this huge, you know, Marilyn Manson rock star and, you know, can sell out these huge stadiums. I'm sure he sells out shows. I don't know how often he can sell out stadiums back to back to back to back like in the same city because rock stars can do that, right? Uh, like ACDC if they were to tour, whatever the hell, right? Um, but you got to give Lil Uzi Vert props because every time he just dropped a project, he sold over 100,000 or 200,000 copies the first week, which most artists struggle to do. Like doing 200,000 first week is like great in today's time. If you go over... 200,000, first off, 100,000 is a great, you know, first week numbers. If you're doing like 100, 200, 300,000 and anything above that, then you're doing your thing even more. And you're one of the top 5%, 2% artists that are doing that. So let's go over the sales. Eternal A Take, which is his second album, to 288,000 copies the first week. That is amazing numbers. There really isn't more that you could ask for unless he's doing a million first week, right? Then the pink tape, which I don't think he really promoted. He just kind of dropped. Uh, that did 167,000 first week. By the way, all these albums debuted at number one. So it's not like, you know, these are just albums that are debuting at three, four, or whatever. Um, his first album, which is Love is Rage 2, did uh, 135,000 first week. So he's, he's fluctuated over 100,000 to 200,000 sales around there. Uh, he dropped a tape with Future as well. 
commercial performance. It did 105,000 first week. That's good numbers, man. Always over 100,000 at least. So as far as hits, I mean, you could you could argue, you know, I just want to rock. Like that's another record. He, he's got records that did numbers, right? You know, I like Exo Tour Life. That's probably one of my favorite tracks from him. Uh, but I'm not a huge Lil Uzi Vert fan. Never really uh, got into his music like that. Um, but he's a great guy. He's like, he has great energy. Uh, just overall great guy. But his music just isn't my cup of tea. I like the Exo Tour Life record, like I said. A uh, little bit of tracks here and there I can get into. But other than that, I'm not really a huge fan. But I think Ebro, you know, Lil Uzi Vert's 29 years old. He still has time to become that huge, huge rock star where he's just doing insane things. But he still does numbers. He has a solid uh, fan base. Let's see. Let's see the tours, man. I'm just genuinely curious. Like, what has he done tour wise? Because that's where you can really dictate if he is um, doing numbers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. There's no like real solid numbers on his touring right now that I'm seeing. Yeah, last update we got on the Pink Tape tour was August 12, 2023. So um, he sold out 81 percent out of the 18 shows that he has. We don't know the price of what he's made money wise, but. Yeah, I mean, Ebro somewhat has a point. But to say that, you know, I think Ebro came off in that interview as if, like, Lil Uzi Vert's going to be a one-hit wonder and just kind of disappear and not really be anything. To Uzi's credit, he's remained relevant every time he's dropped an album. That's all you could really ask for. But has he reached that rock star level where everybody goes crazy for him, he can sell out stadiums and just do insane shows? No, he hasn't yet. But, hey, only time will tell. Um, but yeah, we'll keep our eyes posted. I think it was just an interesting follow-up after all these years, uh, to see what, what, you know, was Ebro really hating or is Uzi just, you know, not that actual rock star that people think he is. I don't know. That's up for you guys to decide. I see on the numbers. I think he's not, but he's getting there. He's definitely getting there and he's doing great numbers.